Hello, Imperian Galactic Survival fans, GRG3D here, and welcome to Ultimate Iron Man Season 3, Episode 13. Lucky, unlucky, who knows? But looky, looky, I just found, I'm, uh, oh, let's start, B, level 25, 470 kills, zero deaths. B, M, I just got back from Gaia because Gaia had Estrium and Zacosium so I picked some up uh, it was the only breathable planet atmosphere I found but it's really weird but I'm in the asteroid field and as going towards I found I have found two magnesiums two neos and I don't know what this one is because I'm about to find it right now be nice if it was another Neo. Well, no, it's a silicone. It's a silicone! And I don't know if they fixed it yet or not, but... M? Yeah, see, they're not showing up on the map. So, I get right on my nose. S-I-L-I-C-O-N Silicon Except I don't need it I came here to get the Neo but these seem to be all grouped You know when I found that iron You know I came in straight in Found the iron and I went all around didn't go far enough this way because it seems like they're all located in this area, evidently. Well, except for this one I just landed on, but... I just warped in from Gaia. Viva... Uh... Kendar. Ken this is the first time I've gone from Kendar to the asteroid field. And, uh, I haven't taken out the uh, main objective yet. Because uh, I, I wanted some epic, epic weapons. And guess what? Tab. I found me a plasma rifle epic. And. Shut that. Let's go to ammo. And I found two EM pulse rifles. These do 130 damage. But. The one I have, it does 185. I'm going to hang on to that one. Use it in the up and coming final battle on the starter planet. But, as you can see, oh, it's on again. Oh, let's turn it off. The reason why I had to go get Zacosium. And Estrium is because my defensive weapons needed it. No, on, off. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and if you look down on the bottom right corner, you'll see my power usage is none. I have 2132 minutes. 2000. 132 minutes. But I'm coming over here to this uh, Neo because I want to pick up a little bit more Neo. This is the f first Neo I found. I actually did, did all that hand drilling. But uh, this is the way to go. All This is why I bring this beast in. When I get this puppy in, it's pretty much... Game over, man. Game over. Yeah, we'll just pick up, uh, we'll just pick on this asteroid. Because I also want to get some Promethium. I want to visit my home base. 
because I have found some stuff that I'd like to break down because this baby can haul it. Cut the top of it. Cut it right in half. Why not? I think I'll be almost done here in a second. This thing is just a beast when it comes to mining. I have to be careful because I get so much crushed stone that I don't even need to bother with copper, iron, and silicone anymore. So I go after the exotics. I'm hoping this season we find a Pendaxid asteroid. That would be sweet. Tip up a little bit. There we go. I want to get all the Neo that I can. I probably got plenty as it is. But you never have too much stuff. So now I'm just selling at the traders for uh, coffee juice. Just looking. Yeah, I uh, cut that right in half, didn't it? P. Uh, let's go to Constructor Inn. Oh, oh yeah, I think I got a little, a little bit. See what I mean? I have so much crushed stone nowadays that, but look at this. Uh, <laughs> okay. So we'll back up. That's all I really wanted from here. M. We're going to go out to this one. I haven't been to this one yet. So we'll see what's out here. Then we'll go back to Horath. Are you kidding? Look at that. I'm gonna just flip over here for a second, see what this is. Let's well, set silicone again, but no, see look, an iron asteroid. Not that I need to, but map. Whoops. All right, map. Right on my nose. Iron. Enter. Waypoints on that pink. So yeah, it's as close as I can get it. You can see that they're off a little bit, but I don't really need to mine iron unless I keep this after the season. Of course, if I should perish in a foolhardy attempt at something, then I erase it all. That's crazy, man. They're all like lumped over here. It's easy. The asteroid field really isn't an asteroid field. It's uh, just a bunch of rocks in space. Real easy once you get near them, I guess. But the detection range really could be improved. They ought to have a detector. Now, the reason why I came over here is I wanted to see... Well, that doesn't go anywhere. And this doesn't go anywhere. And that doesn't go... So that's it? One, two, three... Four planets in an asteroid field? Uh, I thought we were going to have more than that. Uh, planet info? No, I got to click on it. Gold Sathium, Orbit, Promethium. There's some Promethium around here somewhere. 
Uh, sector list? Yeah, not much. Planet info? Non-breathable? Difficulty 4? And it's a lava planet. Uh, Kendar. Kendar is... I've never been to one, but it's a barren planet. And, uh, yeah. I don't really think I need to go there for anything. This time around, though, once I get rid of him, there's really no... You know... Maybe I will base it in Kendar, because that's my longest jump right there. But when I was over in New Gaia, before I came back, it was a dead end. Didn't go anywhere. Hopefully it's not a bug. But we'll turn off uh, the brake. And we'll just take a little quick cruise through the uh, asteroid belt and see if we can. It'd be nice to hit a Prometheum. There we go. Look at that. Zero. Power usage, none. Oh. See, you can usually spot a Prometheum. That one's all by its lonesome. Let's go take a look at it. Sometimes that is a telltale thing where... I don't know what that flash was, but... Eh, it's making me have jitters. Guess it's nothing. So, an open exit. I guess I have to buy it at the traders. And be careful with my uh, usage of Pendaxid. Although the moon in the original one has Pendaxid uh, stuff, raw form. But yeah, finding it, it's like shooting uh, for finding a needle in a stack of needles. It's not that easy. Well, to find the right needle, that is. Yeah, There's a strange looking one up there. That, that looks like a uh, Prometheum. I could have swore I saw a little blue flash. Alright, V, V. Right in my crosshair. It's hard to see you with the sun in the way, but... We'll go over here and take a peek at that one. Whoops, I... Yeah, this is, uh, I've used this in multiplayer and all kinds of things. It's my own design, the uh, H12+. Plus. So, oh. I could point to it on my screen, but you wouldn't see it. But we are flying kind of right towards it. We won't be fooled, though. We'll look around, make sure I don't just fly right by one. Yeah, if that's if that's uh, Prometheum, that's the farthest I've ever spotted one. We're heading right towards it. It just had an odd looking shape. You know how they're all kind of roundish looking? Well, this one wasn't round. Maybe it was just a glint from the sun on the rock, but I could have swore I saw purple. No, I guess I don't have eagle eyes. I might have kung fu grip though. <laughs> oh, you can tell my age sometimes. There we go. It's easier to look with the sun behind your back. Let's 
Sorry. Sometimes I mute it because I cough. I have no idea. I don't. I, do, I should look at the matte thing again. I don't even know if it has promethium. That'd be silly looking for promethium. Don't even have it. Asteroids. Yeah, it says promethium. Usually you can spot it. They'll do like a weird flash before they come in, or uh, you can you can see the promethium on the asteroid from quite a ways. You just have to be looking in the right direction. But I did find the Prometheum at the starter planet, along with Cobalt and uh, a few others, like Silicone Iron. Oh, that, that, that could have been right there. Let's put on our brakes. point at it. That one, right in my crosshairs. I might have glimpsed the blue or purple, however you want to call it, Promethium. I think Promethium is purple. It's always nice to find another one. Oh, on Gaia, I, I, there's two medium Prometheums right side by side. And I put a uh, level 3 auto miner on it, so if I ever want to go back there and get it. But the atmosphere is weird. It's uh, like 31% oxygen and my ship flies really strange through it. No, I think that's going to be another no-show. Pretty far from the planet too. a flyby. Not to be confused with a drive-by. Yeah, that's nothing. Darn. Darn. Now, I haven't been down to the surface. It's a lava planet. So, it's really, really hot. But, the thing is, is I can mine from this ship with my drone. I just open the hatch in the bottom belly. In its belly. And, uh, yeah, I don't want to make this too long. So, what I'll do is... Peek. Map. Uh, I'm there. I'll go back to Harath. Say okay. Where's my target? Okay, last chance. Last call. Guess not. I'm not gonna get lucky here. Maybe someday. Into the hole. I really wish they could animate this part. It would look so cool if they could animate this part. But hey, it's better than uh, nothing. Okay, there's our Prometheum right in front of us. Yeah, so, uh, cobalt, promethium, silicone, the trading station, and a Antares space station, which looks like we're going to be coming pretty darn close to, uh, P, main, I love this part, shields, red alert, shields, red alert, yeah, right, okay. So all the raw Pindaxid I find, I will keep raw and I'll just keep buying because I'm Richie Rich. I have 688,000 credits. Uh, that's just from trading and selling. And uh, yeah, whoever gives me the a thumbs down, please leave a comment and tell me why. I know the last couple of videos I've done have been silly, but some people just, just take this too seriously. You know what I mean? 
I take it serious. I try not to die. I know the first three times I entered Iron Man, it was the thing my saying was, if I can get past level three, I'll be all set. Because <laughs> I've been gang banged by spiders, or, or gang attacked, I should say. Although my budget to say girls don't really watch my channel. Or women. To speak politically correct, so I don't really piss everybody off. Oh, it's a fog. Stay out of the fog. I'm loving it. I'm gonna build me a uh, platform for this puppy next to my main base. So, I guess it wasn't a waste building that base after all. And it came out pretty nice. I like it. And uh, if we get real froggy, we might go after the Antara space station. But I'll, I want to try to follow the uh, the thing so that I don't accidentally, you know, I'm supposed to do something and uh, I do it out of sequence and it messes everything up. So. couple kilometers away so I breaks that's okay we'll make short work of this Prometheum Yeah, I know, I like to get set up. Engage! And then I do the twiddle. Where I rotate in a circle. It usually helps me get everything. Takes a little getting used to learning how to twist and turn from a side view, but like I said, I know how this wouldn't work because I built it all by myself. This had a, it was originally called the Warhawk because of its flat nose and it looked ugly, but uh, when they came out with the laser drills, OMG, that was the cat's meow back in the day. Back in the day when you had to pay for dirt. <laughs> Down a little. Do the rotation. Now I could hop out and get every last bitty bit. But I, I don't want to. I'm lazy. I've already done all the hard work. Now it's time to enjoy. Come on, get that little bit. Eat it for breakfast. You know what else I wish? I wish they would, um... You know how you get the laser upgrade? I wish the laser rifle when it was a T1 laser rifle, and they had a T2 laser rifle, and then you had the epic laser rifle, or pulse rifle, or whatever you want to call it. They did it with everything else. And why don't we have a uh, epic laser pistol? Huh? Why? Why? Ooh, there's a nice big vein in there. Look how far those lasers go. They go like 500 feet. Quarter mile at the best. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with all the crushed stone. I can 
pretty much just make anything I want now. P devices con in. Yeah. We're uh getting a lot of crushed stone. Magnesium. Oh, I should have picked up some magnesium powder. Yeah, I got so much crushed stone, I, I almost want to throw it out. But you know what I'll do? I'll go down to the surface planet. Oh, look, another one. Yeah, I, I, I think that's enough magnesium for the rest of the year. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, there's couple more deposits of zocosium ingots, uh, or, sorry, sorry, and, uh, yeah, I got plenty of, plenty of crushed stone, take that out of there, I know, I'm gonna call the episode, but, so, don't you fret. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven stacks. Isn't that crazy? And uh, there's still Prometheum there, but I think I'm done mining Prometheum too. Now I think I'll go make uh, oh. Where is, uh, oh, there he is. Oh, look at your map, you ding a -ling. Trading station. Eleven hundred minutes. <laughs> yeah. So I want for nothing. I know where there's magnesium asteroids. I was really debating between this and the vulture and this one because I figured it'd just be easier to mine stuff, especially if it came across a Pendaxid asteroid. Which in normal plane I do come across, but for some reason in the Iron Man challenge we don't get that luxury. You can always go to the planet. Ah, uh, the planet. The moon. So, I guess I'll end the episode here. As uh, I'll leave us off at the trading station. And, like, subscribe. Please leave a comment. Even if it's a negative comment. And please watch the other players, because uh, we do put a lot of time and effort into playing the game, trying to stay alive, and then producing the videos. Because it's not just like record and go. I mean, if you, you can, but you know, you like to shorten things up, and you like to add a little music, stuff like that. But until the next adventure, Alt F9. Thanks for viewing.